Okay, in this section, I will talk about the vertical line test. So what is the vertical line test? Well, it's basically a test to determine whether a graph, a set of numbers, or a relation is a function. So if you would, you would have been given a graph that looks like this. x-axis to the y-axis. So if you're given a uh, graph that looks like that and you're supposed to determine whether this is a, uh, is, a, is a function or not through the vertical line test, well what we basically do is is you take a, a ruler, a pen, or a straight object and then basically moves it from left to right holding it vertically and if this pen touches the graph on two on two places uh, or two points uh, at the same time it is not going to be a function so it can only touch it each and every point on this graph once okay so as you can see if I move this pen from left to right it only touches the graph on one on one point each each time I move it. On the other hand, if you would have had a graph that looked something like this, okay, we can see that if I if I move the pen from left to right, all of a sudden the the pen touches one, two, three spots at the same time, three points at the same time, which is not accepted. So this is not going to be a function since it touches more than one point when I do when I use the vertical line test. Uh, we could also have a set of just scattered points on a graph and they ask us to determine whether this is a function. Okay. So we go ahead and move our pen from the left to the right and we see that at no point does my pen pass through two points at the same time. If I would have been if I would have put a point right here, then this is not a function because these two points touches the pen at the same time. Okay? So that's the vertical line test. And it just uh, determines or show you whether a function, uh, a set of points is, uh, is, a, uh, is a function or not. So what to remember is that a set of points cannot have two, let's say you had three different points here. So you had two, three, uh, 4, 8, 6, 7. I just randomly picked these numbers up. So what to remember is, if you look at these these points that I just randomly scattered here throughout the graph, if it's a function it cannot have two points on the same vertical line. The same vertical lines means the same x value. Okay, so these points cannot have the same x value, any of them, which they don't have. This one has 2, this one has 4, and this one has 6. On the other hand, if I would have changed this 4 into a 2, for instance, all of a sudden we would have had two points on the same vertical line, which determines that it's not a function. So just make sure that the x values are all different. So that's basically uh, the vertical line test and the three different ways in which you might have to determine uh, if it's a function or not through a graph, just a set of scattered uh, points on a graph, or specific points uh, just stated like this.